Hello everyone, welcome to the very first episode of Let's Design a Tropico 5, or Tropico 5 as I like to say, because this game appears to be in Spanglish. And I think I'm quite good at that, I guess. Uh, we'll, we'll see. But uh, in case you don't know me, my name is Rick Toaster, and I usually play games uh, from a design or aesthetics perspective. So um, don't expect this to be uh, uh, like me following the challenges of the game and try to maximize profit and, and missions. I'm just going to try to design a really good looking uh, town with this game and uh, potentially make some money. But uh, my goal would be very good looking or eye candy road layouts, nice little neighborhoods. And uh, uh, for those of you who do know me, uh, uh, this series is mostly going to be like what I did with Banish. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and begin a new game. I'm going to go into sandbox mode. And I'm gonna create a new dynasty. I'm gonna. I don't like Alvarez. I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna be a stricto, a stricto, thirst, <laughs> strict dusters. Yes, that's gonna be my dynasty. And um, we're creating a new uh, dictator. I'm assuming. We'll, we'll wait a second for this screen to load. And, uh, oh, these are nice oil paintings. Oh, there we go. Wow, we're a really uh, ugly old lady. Love it. Uh, I want to change myself to male just for a moment. Maybe my other dynasty members will be female, but uh, not for now. Let's find a good name. Adan Adolfo Agustin Alberto. Can I maybe... Let's find a really dictatorship like... Uh, uh, name. Oh, there are many, many ones. Uh, you know what? Cristobal. Cristobal sounds kind of a dictatorship kind of name. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep that. <laughs> I'm sure for those of uh, those Cristobals watching this show, don't be offended. <laughs> uh, scale, altruist. Uh, I think I'm going to keep that. And uh, sure, I'm going to keep that as well. I'm going to keep the face. Uh, let us give us some like good looking uh, ooh, businessman. I like businessman. Dark brown. Yeah, let's uh, we're going to be bold. No. What about this kind of hair? Crazy hair. Oh, yeah. And uh, white hair is fine. What about a hat? <laughs> Such a weird hat. <laughs> Top hat. Colonial. Uh, you know what? Let's just have. Oh, we can have both hair and a hat. Okay, I like that combination. Let's just go ahead and start building a city, which I think it's uh, what you guys are waiting for. So uh, I'm gonna. Hmm, let's just have an auto-generated map with a medium size island. That should be fine. Elevation hills, yeah, something in between. Resources adequate, climate normal, confirm settings. And uh, starting money, I don't want to give myself unlimited money. I want just a little bit of a challenge, just slightly. So I'm going to go ahead with 100,000. Everything in medium, pretty much. Um, I think that's, uh, that's about it. So starting the game is uh, the next step. All right, let's see what we got. This is our island. I forgot how to move around. Oh, I need to use my uh, cursor keys. All right, not too, not, not, not that big of a deal. We have uh, the fog of ore covering most of our island at this point. Uh, I'm kind of, I like it actually. Uh, we have our starting town is looking at a 45 degree angle towards the um, the ducks that we have. I feel like uh, we have plenty of room to do crazy things here. So let's go ahead and try not to die to the hands of um, the rebels or the crown or whoever wants to kill us, basically, which I'm assuming it will be a lot of people. Uh, just so you know, a bit of a disclaimer while I create uh, the first roads. Uh, actually, I don't know. I don't want the road that way. Maybe over here. Can I not have a... Uh, I want maybe that. 
I want something like that. Okay, let me demolish it. We're gonna start by uh, demolishing things as usual. You know my style for those of you who've been watching uh, my SimCity series. Uh, let me just really quickly demolish this part. I cannot do that while in pass mode. All right, I'll take that. And uh, here and here, that's what I wanted. All right, now it's this nice and smooth curve. Um, I was saying, yeah, a bit of a disclaimer. I'm not uh, hugely experienced uh, about this game. I've only started playing Tropical 5. I played Tropical 4 just a little bit. And uh, so don't, don't go too crazy in the comments if I, you know, mess things up because uh, that's uh, that's what it is. So do I have do I have a Teamsters office? I do have construction office. I do. I have a ranch and I have my Good palace. In I had to an turn... effort to improve the health of his subjects, His Majesty has issued a new decree. All citizens must eat at least one piece of fruit per day. To this end, all colonies are ordered to begin fruit production immediately. All right. I was saying that I had to turn off the music for copyright issues, but I'm going to keep the dialogues. And uh, it appears that we need to build a plantation for bananas, and that will extend our mandate. So let's go ahead and queue that up real quick. We have plantations here. Bananas are selected, and it appears that uh, bananas don't really like growing in here. So we might have to come into this uh, general area. Is there greener? No, this is even red. Red or is that even a word? I don't know. But uh, yeah, I think uh, so many rocks in here. I don't know if those are gonna get uh, cleaned up. But uh, you know what? I think I'm gonna put the plantation here. That way we can uh, create a road that. Potentially will continue, but in the meantime, it will just be a T intersection right over here. So while that happens, let's see what other uh, mission we have uh, on our hands. Greetings, old chap. Have I got a deal for you today? As crown representative, I can offer you your very own trading license. So uh, I had this screen before, and uh, I think I'm gonna go with the silver package. I'm expecting uh, to add more docks, and that will create additional trading offers, I think. Uh, so right now, I'm just gonna go with the silver package, not spend a whole lot of money, and see and, and see where you know things uh, take us. And we already have a bunch of shacks, so we might wanna start putting down. Uh, some houses uh, very soon, but uh, for now, I think I'm gonna go. Let's actually take a look at the traits that we have in in place. Oh, we can export pineapples. That's uh, quite a bit of money. Oh, we can also export meat, uh, cocoa. Oh, cocoa is even more expensive uh, to export. Not expensive, but it will create uh, more profits. So let's actually go ahead and do that. Where can we do cocoa here? Uh, everything it's. Not very green, to be honest, but, uh, hmm. Yeah, this one is, uh, this whole area is a bit too far away for my comfort. What about, uh, what about pineapples? Let's try pineapples. Oh man, everything is red except this area. So you know what, let's rotate this farm. And uh, I wish it would tell me the effectiveness, but I guess it doesn't. Mm -hmm. Well, the rocks were cleared, so I'm guessing this wouldn't be the worst idea in the world. Let's let's go ahead and actually do cocoa, and uh, let's just should we leave a gap? No, it's fine. Let's not leave a gap. And uh, I need to remember how to uh, do the cancel cancel. How to rotate? Oh, there we go. Rotating it's without I don't know why they did it this way it makes no sense to me the way camera controls are are a bit not um, too intuitive at least uh, for my uh, The way I used to play other games other games like like this like Penish, SimCity and uh, and the likes But uh, in the meantime, we're just gonna look at uh, the whole map in that angle 
but uh, we can zoom in and uh, look at the His Royal details of the buildings. Has instructed me to present you with this letter of commendation for your achievements in the name of the Empire. So we have a lot of money. I'm guessing at this point I want more colonists because well the mandate is kind of far away and we have uh, a lot of cash and I don't really need Swiss uh, money in my Swiss bank account at this Technological point. Technological progress is the path to so autonomy governance. We need more scientists to think important thoughts and All right, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm not going to let her read all that. We're just going to need uh, a new library, I guess. It's the next bit big is the next big thing. I can't even speak right now. I'm so excited about the World Cup. Um it's true. Uh, so let's uh, go ahead and uh, put the library down because this will be incredibly helpful for the research that uh, we are going to conduct. And uh, can we fit it somewhere else? It's a really good looking building. Uh, and I think it deserves to be right across the street from our uh, palace, our government palace. Uh, it wouldn't be the worst idea in the world to actually assign a manager that but we currently don't have any managers. Uh, we can speed things up just a little bit for everything to, you know, start uh, developing. I feel like the city is going to spread out in this direction and in this direction right along the coast. Uh, it wouldn't be the worst idea in the world to... Uh, what do we have here? We have bananas. So maybe we can queue up a trade route. Nope, not constitution, not, not, not yet. Pineapples, I think uh, one ship, one one. All right, so we can start doing this. The Bernadette will be the ship that will carry our plantation. Oh, this was cocoa, not, uh, sorry. I'm gonna remove this ship and, uh, oh, the trade route is gone. That is unfortunate. What are we producing here, by the way? We are producing, does it tell me where the hell I'm producing in here? Uh, I believe it's pork, right? Let's take a look at this real quick. Milk, pineapples, all right. We can now ex no longer export cocoa. That's fine though. We will make some money out of that very soon. In fact, let's take a look at what other things that we can export, pineapples at this point, and wool. Uh, wouldn't be the worst at the end of the world to actually have another ranch. And uh, get some uh, some sheep, cattle, goats, uh, milk, and llamas. Actually, I think are the ones that will get me uh, what I need. So let's queue up uh, one of these ranch ranches over here. Yeah, I don't want this to be in the center of town. Eventually, I'm going to upgrade all these buildings uh, to tenements or you know apartment buildings and things like that. Uh, we're probably going to invite some foreign workers here. His Royal Majesty is eager to see his fruit care plan in action. All right, we need to export 3,500 bananas. And uh, hopefully this will deliver. And we have some cocoa here. Uh, I believe things uh, should be quite fine. And as we wait for the foreign workers that we invited, we can maybe start uh, queuing up our researches. Uh, we have the sickle, we have the cowboys, which is basically upgrades to ranches, and shovels for mines. That uh, Do we have a mine nearby? We have a mine over here. So at some point in the near future, we're probably going to send an expedition to explore this area and remove the fog of war that is currently um, prohibiting us from uh, exploiting this resource. And uh, let's see what's happening here. All right, I think, uh, let me take a look at the almanac real quick. Uh, we have uh, zero unemployed. We have 12 open jobs for foreigners to fill in. Uh, in terms of entertainment, we have zero entertainment, healthcare, zero healthcare, religion, zero. So I'm gonna focus real quick on entertainment and religion. Let's uh, go ahead and put up a um, church or a Catholic mission. It's, uh, I think it's the proper term for this. Uh, right here shouldn't be bad. Right across the street from the ranch. 
or from the palace. I'm not sure. You know what? I'm gonna put it here. Eventually, we might move um, things around a little bit, so I'm not uh, too concerned about that. Uh, we can easily change the uh, crop, but I think that we are going to uh, conquer this trade uh, pretty easily. Let's see what we have. We have cotton and uh, Yeah, we could do that actually. Is the ranch over? Finished construction? It appears to be Lamas. Well output 201. Yes. All right What do you want? If eating fresh fruit keeps the people healthy and strong We tropicans must eat twice as much to be twice as healthy and twice as strong. This is something that I usually do. Uh, the edX uh, extra ration increases the food consumption and the food happiness of the citizens. I'm gonna do that. It I think it's cheap, and uh, it it Thanks goes a long efforts. way. The revolutionary movement is growing stronger. Uh, in this case, I'm actually gonna. I, I want educated citizens and revolutionaries that will help me uh, declare my independence after I reach 51% of, of approval from my people. And I think this would be a good time to start uh, putting down some houses to get rid of uh, the the shacks. So let's go ahead and queue some up. Something like that. I wish the models wouldn't repeat all that much. But uh, I guess uh, that's what it is. Uh, can I not? I don't want to curve things. I just want them to like go like that. There we go. We're going to have a nice little grid, and then we're going to start curving things around. So don't worry. It's not just going to be a boring grid. Did you know that there are treasures buried on our island? We should investigate. All right. Research the shop. Great news. Which is While searching through the curse. crates of colony supplies, we found a sickle. All right. We unlocked the sickle. So that means that we can now upgrade some of our farms uh inoculation and uh small parcel growth there we go what about the ranch do we have upgrades not yet not yet not too bad uh we should probably start uh moving our roads a bit farther because i think uh that's where we're heading still have some shacks but uh, hopefully these houses will be done. Uh, their construction, actually, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's, let me just pause right here. Uh, cancel construction, I wanna get this money back. Uh, I'm gonna demolish this thing and cancel construction. You'll see in a moment what, I, what I'm going to do. So let me think they're gonna remove this, uh, this house, yep. I want to have a road that sort of comes in here and then just have houses over there. Just, you know, remember this is a design, uh, let's design, uh, I was going to say design centric Tropico, but this is let's design Tropico. And uh, that's uh, what I think we should do, to be honest. So our this is uh, probably going to house most of our... Someone uh, stole my manuscript and published it under a pseudonym. It was an autobiography. Ranch upgrades it's unlocked. Okay, I don't, need, I don't need the whole speech. Penultimo, thank you. Uh, what I was saying is I'm, I'm thinking that this whole area will be mostly official buildings like uh, customs office, embassies, uh, maybe even larger buildings. But uh, all the people will be living alongside here. And eventually I'm going to start... Uh, expanding and having different neighborhoods all over the island, maybe uh, get into tourism and things like that. We'll see. Uh, for the time being, I'm, uh, I'm going to try beautifying this a little bit. Uh, where is it? Under... Yeah, here it is. Small garden. Let's just have a couple of small gardens here and there just to beautify this whole area. And I think a tavern will be a nice addition probably next to the church <laughs> uh that might actually work you know what let's not have it next to church let's just have it uh right about uh here i think uh, i think that's a good idea all right so we currently are exporting oh cotton not wool okay face bomb uh let's take a look at that real quick
yeah, we're not exporting that. Uh, importing cocoa, no. What about pineapples? At this point, there is really nothing that we can export that we are producing unless this is producing uh, meat. Is there a meat trade route? I keep clicking the wrong thing, by the way. So sorry about that. Uh, maybe milk. Is it this producing milk? Not really, no. Okay. Uh, eventually we will. The revolutionary movement is growing stronger. All right, give me. Team. That is to say, me. Give me discovered me the shovel me. forty times. All right, mine's unlocked. Shovel unlocked, and we got three uh, uh, educated uh, revolutionaries. His Royal Majesty has instructed me to present you with this letter of commendation for All right, your we achievements are done with the in the name of the Empire. I'm going to ask for a. 12th Monday to extension. I think that will come quite handy. Uh, I was thinking of maybe continuing this diagonal here. You know what? Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Can I maybe continue it like that? Let's do this and uh, let's see if I can demolish this part. There we go. I can. All right. So we're going to continue this road over here and do that. There we go. Now it's looking good. I can continue this uh, diagonal, maybe join it up here. And now we're going to have a cool, we're going to start having some cool road layouts just uh, for the sake of it. In fact, uh, oh, what, what do we have here? Oh, we can research more things. Oh, military fort. That's going to be really important. Uh, foreman and planks. Um, I should probably start doing some sort of military buildings because, uh, like, maybe a couple of guard towers by the government house. I think that will come in handy. Maybe another one there and another one there because I'm expecting the road to continue this way and this way. And, uh... Should I do it on all the corners? Might be overdoing things, but uh, in the meantime, let's just connect the road. Like that. And that should be enough, because usually attacks come from the ocean into our town, and uh, usually they concentrate around the palace, so that's why I want the towers, uh, at least for now, in this whole area. Uh, I might upgrade them to machine guns eventually, but uh, I don't have that research just yet. So, let's see what our next mission is. The revolution is a struggle for freedom, and there are few... All right, build a new tower. I already have one, so you want another one? Okay, we can do that. Let's see, tavern. There we go, so... I think it makes sense to put it on the other side of town even though it's right next to the thing, but uh, we can have it there. I think uh, that will go a long ways. And uh, let's take a look at our trade routes. Can we already export some of our... Oh, right, cocoa. There we go. Now we're talking. Uh, we're producing quite a bit of cocoa. Love it. All right. Things are looking good. Things are looking good. And um, let's see what we have here. Do we have, how many shacks do we have? We have a couple. Uh, it wouldn't be the worst of the end of the world to actually have some, let's see, let me take a look at the uh, politics, royalist, they hate us, good stunning. We're almost, yeah, we're, we're getting up with the revolutionaries. Uh, they're, they're the ones that are gonna help us get 51% uh, support to declare independence to the crown. Thanks to your efforts. The revolutionary movement is growing stronger. Yeah, three more educated revolutionaries. That's what I want. And uh, something uh, is up. While His Majesty finds your island's backwardness most amusing, His Royal Majesty did, has so instructed thank you. me to present you with this letter of commendation. And I want ten colonists. Because our mandate is already pretty big and uh, our, po right our popularity is we going. We found out how to use the map. Military fort unlocked. All right, we should probably queue that up real quick. I feel like I'm going really fast, but uh, I don't know. We will see. Oh, no. Can I not fit it here? Really? 
Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Uh, maybe we can have... This actually might not be a bad idea. Hang on. Come on. I hate that you cannot do things like this. I might have to actually demolish this piece of road. Really? You're not gonna let me demolish? My, I'm afraid that I'm gonna demolish. Uh, there we go. All right. So we can go like this, and we can go like this. And can we like? Move forward here. Oh man, this road system is so not intuitive. Like, look at that. I mean, it, that's an easy connection. You can totally do that, man. So I think this has to go forward a little bit. And, uh, and the same thing with this. So I think we need to come like that. Run tur uh, road turns too sharply. Are you kidding me? Whatever, that's fine. We will connect it uh, somewhere there. I guess not. Let's demolish this. Okay, that. It's not the best, but it's not the worst either. And we have. Uh, this uh, right here, which uh, I think uh, it can it can yield some good results. We can connect this like that, and uh, we should probably extend this diagonal all the way over here, and uh, connect it like that, and something like that. All right, so we have two notifications. Let's take a look. Looks like the buried treasures I was told about were actually natural All right. treasures. We need to build a mine. President, and what else? As you know, it is your will alone that keeps Tropico together. Without you, the entire island would crumble to dust and be lost. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have an arm wrestling born, competition. All animals became quiet. A light shone through the skies, and La Chupacabra herself went to the crib and bowed to the infant. At least. <laughs> That is what we will write in the history books. All right. Uh, let's see. All construction are two percent cheaper. Speed by ten percent. Oh, I think I like this one. Yeah. And we have the second person of our dynasty, Cebrian Estrictoster. Uh, I like how you how you're dressing. Maybe not the light purple. Maybe we can get you. Oh, I like I like a coconut uh, coconut white. All right. And we have the second. Uh, of our um, dynasty. All right. So a mine, she wants a mine. So we need to send uh, an exploration team into, let's see, can we send it into this direction? Can we actually get maybe two mines for the price of one? Because uh, they're gonna light up the path of whatever uh, they they need to go towards to so if they need to go here they might just walk through this mine and and get uh this one unlocked as well we'll see there they go all right i what do we have three here? other members oh. of the research team suddenly it dawned on us oh four men Whip. there we go we keep uh, researching more things we can enable this and planks are being researched we're really close to constitution even though our popularity is not uh, so great but um, I think uh, I think I'm quite happy with the results so far. I'm gonna I'm gonna put a cut here. If you enjoy the series, please uh, let me know in the comments. And of course, hit that like button. That is very very helpful. Also, if you're new to this channel, if you just stumble upon this video and you kind of see where this is going and how I design these kind of cities, and and, and that is something that you find enjoyable, I would uh, like to invite you to subscribe to my channel there's a big red button underneath this uh video player that being said i'm going to uh, put a cut like i said i want to thank you for watching guys and i'll see you next time have a good one